If you're all caught up in girl world, then you know that Chantal has turned to supplements instead of her doctor's plan. In this video, I caught up with our buddy Dr. X and I filled him in on what's going on. Here's how it went. Okay, hello Dr. X, welcome back. <laughs> Good to be back. <laughs> um, okay, so since we talked last, Chantal has decided to start taking supplements. Okay, so back up. Her doctor told her to do breakfast between 7 and 9, lunch between 12 and 1, and then dinner no later than 8 p.m., and to eat mainly vegetables, mainly chicken and fish, very limited carbs, very low salt. So instead, she's decided to take these supplements, and um, so now she's doing no breakfast, and then she's doing uh, pretty much whatever she wants to eat for lunch or dinner, but then she's taking this supplement that's um, fiber-based that you take like 20 minutes before you eat and it's supposed to make you fuller faster. What are your thoughts? So I have a, a lot of thoughts and I, I don't want to be too offensive. Um, <laughs> it's okay. So the, the medical industry, the pharmaceutical in industry is regulated by the FDA. Mm -hmm. And there's oversight and there's testing and if you put a product in something that is not what you say it is yeah that you the fda is going to figure that out and you're going to get in trouble and be fined and and probably not be able to sell that product again mm -hmm. the supplement industry is not regulated by the fda yeah so you and i can go outside and get some dirt from the ground <laughs> and put it in a pill and create the right buzzwords and marketing around it uh -huh. um, that, you know, whatever it is, ultra rapid metabolism, what are some, like, boost metabolism, right. increases your, your feeling of fullness, you won't eat as much, like, if we had the right marketing on uh -huh. the supplement and it wasn't harming people, we could sell it. There's a, a book by um, a guy named Paul Offit. How do you spell that? A, I think it's it's O F F U T. I would have to Google it. Okay, I'll look it up. Um, it's called "Do You Believe in Magic?" and it kind of oh. outlines the supplement industry. Um, and uh, it was eye opening for me to read. Mm -hmm. um, you hope that if a company says that you're getting a certain compound or chemical that you're getting that mm -hmm. compound or chemical and um you know if there are complaints or, or toxicity issues or something that, that should be snuffed out pretty quickly of the two plans the supplements plus the fiber plus the two meals whatever you want or the doctor's plan which do you think is better yeah i th i think the value in supplements if you're taking them and they're helping you achieve some health goal mm -hmm. like eating less calories during the day mm -hmm. or you feel like they are making you feel better mm -hmm. um, then I think there's value to them um, medically if you're looking for a supplement that has been studied and has like, the science behind it to support its use there's very few of those right there's, there's like vitamin D. Vitamin or... D, but which also you can get just as much boost in your vitamin D from sunlight. Right. Um, well, she doesn't go outside, so. Uh, folate in some cases, like prenatal vitamins. Gotcha. Um, but there's not a lot of data on the supplement industry and the way that you, like, non industry sponsored randomized controlled trials that show you that this is effective for whatever gotcha. you're taking it for. So it's nowhere even close to sort of the gamut that you have to go through to get FDA approved, say like as to, a drug. Yeah, to market a pharmaceutical. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yeah. Okay, so one question that comes up a lot that she can't really get a handle on is why is salt so important or reducing salt so important for somebody like her with high blood pressure and diabetes and all of that yeah um, so water in your body follows salt because of their 
chemical relationship. So if you take in a lot of salt into your bloodstream, water is going to follow and it's going to increase the volume of blood in your circulatory system, which is going to increase the pressure mm -hmm. and it increases the strain on your heart to push it around. Um, it also will, uh, by oncotic pressure, distribute into your tissues. So you will retain fluid in your skin and fat and subcutaneous mm -hmm. tissue. Um, it's a complicated discussion. We were just talking about if you if you take in salt, the there are only two ways to get rid of it: it is to pee it out mm -hmm. or sweat it out. And mm -hmm. um, sweating typically isn't part of the medical conversation around high blood pressure and salt intake. And, um, so your ways to decrease your salt intake, which would decrease the amount of fluid you have, decrease the strain on your heart, decrease mm -hmm. blood pressure, is to not take it in in the first place. Mm -hmm. Or pee it out, which we get medicines to artificially make people pee out more salt and water than, than they would have otherwise. Yeah, diuretics and yeah. Lasix and Dumex. Um, and then to sweat to get rid of it. And sweat usually isn't part of the conversation. Hmm. Interesting. Another question people had was the whole exercise thing. Um, at her weight and with her mobility issues, is there anything else she can try other than like, I don't know, PT, seated exercises? Yeah, it's... it just depends on her motivation. Yeah. I mean, it, like, if she would get to a pool, yeah. And walk or jog in the pool or mm -hmm. swim at a really low pace, breaststroke. Um, She's just got to find a way. Um, I I bet she actually has, I mean, she's probably fairly strong if you're, you know. Like well, yeah. 366. I was thinking about that too. So she's carrying an extra person. 230. Yeah. Right. Pounds. Um, I mean, exactly. I, squatting 230 pounds, like getting up off the couch, is not, like, I I probably could not squat 230 pounds right now. Yeah. I mean, it, it takes a lot of strength to it does. yourself around. And, yeah. And, I mean, you know, the lordosis and the postural issues, I mean, mm -hmm. imagine carrying around a hundred pound dumbbell for yeah. any period of time. It's That's true. Really, yeah. So really walking plus changing her diet would help her. It really would. Yeah. I mean, walking, carrying around an extra 200 pounds is yeah. pretty good exercise. Yeah. Okay. So in closing, is there anything that you would want to tell her? Like, we know that she's going to go back to Canada to try to get help. Um, she doesn't really seem to understand the dietary changes she needs to make, and we haven't seen her try to exercise yet. So what would you say to her, if you could? Um, it's, it's so hard to figure out what to do to help somebody motivate themselves. And I don't know that it can be done. I think you can provide support, um, tell stories about what might happen in the future and how horrible that could be and, and yeah. try to f make somebody afraid enough that they change. Yeah. Um, you can, what I really think she needs is a, a friend there with her in person Yeah. who says, okay, we're going to, it's time to get up and we're going to go do this. We're going to walk as far as you can. Yeah. And then we're going to rest for a little bit, and then we're going to do it again. Um, well, she sort of has that. Like, her husband, well, I, I'm not sure, but he took her walking. Like, they go walking, but then he's also the same person who brings her sweets and orders her takeout. So, I don't know. I don't know what that dynamic is there. Yeah, and I, I would have a hard time picturing a, a husband-wife relationship 
I mean, maybe that could be the source of that friendship and motivation, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like that might also strain the relationship. So. Oh, good point. Um, well, he, he's not going to Canada with her. He can't. So she'll be with, like, friends and family. Yeah. Um, but I, I think it's it's up to her. And if, if she were doing anything now, it would be that first, you just do a baby step at a time. You yeah. Just make the one, whether it's walking outside for five or ten minutes, mm -hmm. just, just start, take that one step and then see if you can build on it. Um, but there's no magic solution. It's just going to be yeah. hard work and like trying to change everything. Well, I will keep you updated, and um, people really like your advice, so you should watch the comments because, <laughs> yeah, and people think you sound very handsome, which, yes, ladies, he is very handsome, but very taken. But thank you, Dr. X. I really appreciate you commenting on this update. Thanks, and I guess we'll talk again soon. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. <laughs>